The RUV350 is the latest offering from Bigos and this scooter looks very similar to one of their previous offerings which was the D15. Bigos are branding this scooter as a riders utility vehicle. We've got to ride this today for a very short duration around their factory in Chakan Pune and here are our first impressions. When you look at the scooter from afar it does look like a step through scooter and that's especially because of the 16 inch alloy wheels. But when you get closer, you notice that it does have a floorboard and that's to keep in tune with the utility theme of this scooter. Additionally, this does get a full metal body and the build and the fit and finish unfortunately is not that great or premium as I had expected it to be. Bigos tells us that these are pre-production units and these niggles should be sorted out by the time deliveries begin. The ergonomics keep a rider upright and the seat is fairly comfortable. It has a curb weight of 122 kilograms but does feel really lightweight. The seat is not very tall but you do feel like you are positioned higher up than regular scooters and that is because of the 16 inch alloy wheels. This scooter gets three ride modes, Eco, Ride and Sport. Now the throttle calibration is quite nice and each of the modes distinguish themselves apart from each other quite well. Although in Eco and Ride the scooter is quite slow so to make proper overtakes, quick overtakes, a rider is going to have to be in sport mode. I spent most of my time in sport mode today. To give you an idea, this does a 0 to 40 km per hour sprint in sport mode in 5.8 seconds. Vigos are calling this motor an in-wheel hyperdrive. So what this has is essentially this does not have a conventional belt drive system like we see on many EV scooters. What this ultimately does is leads to more efficiency and less maintenance. Bigos claim that you can run this scooter for 1 lakh kilometers without having to service it. This 3 kilowatt hour battery pack is set to deliver an IDC estimated range of 135 kilometers. Bigos tells us that in eco mode, the real world riding range of this scooter is around 120 kilometers. Although that's something that we'll have to test later. If you want an idea of how quick this scooter can go, in eco it has a top speed of 45 kmph, in ride it's 60 kmph and in sport mode it's 75 km per hour speed. When it comes to features, this EV scooter is equipped with a USB charging port, a 5 inch TFT screen which has Bluetooth connectivity for turn by turn navigation, call and SMS alerts and more. It also gets hill hold assist, cruise control and a reverse mode. Additionally, riders can switch between two different types of interfaces on the TFT screen. Considering the short time that we spent with the scooter, these are again features that will have to be tested properly when we get it for a longer duration. In the storage department, the boot can fit a half-face helmet. It also has a tiny compartment under the mat on the floorboard and a glove compartment at the front for additional storage space. Because of the 16-inch wheels, the handling abilities of the scooter are really good. So it tips into corners really well, it holds a line, and it feels really stable throughout. And that's also a lot to do with these TVS Euro Grip rubber that's really grippy. Now the suspension is slightly on the stiffer side, especially the rear. Although today we spent most of our time riding on well-paved roads around the factory, so we'll talk about the ride quality later. What does hold this scooter back is the braking setup. You get drum brakes at both ends, but to get this scooter to a halt quickly, you really have to work on the brakes. And it still takes some time to get to a halt. The RV350 is a simple electric scooter and what it mainly has going for it is its good handling abilities. Now what really needs to be seen is what this product is priced at. I feel like if it's priced at Rs 80,000 to Rs 90,000, there might be some takers. Although if it's priced at anything higher than a lakh, I feel like there are many other EV options in the market which make more sense and are more value for money. We hope you enjoyed this video. Like, share and subscribe to the Zigwheel channel for more content like this.